Misha, I have to go to you first. This is quite a difference for you, uh, Madame, uh, covering the White House. No one screamed at you. Um, you don't have racial uh, undertoned uh, attacks on you, disrespect for you as a woman and a journalist. I just want to just have, get your sense of how different it feels to cover this White House so far. It is a new day, Joy. We are in this situation where we are covering a White House that respects the idea of truth, that says, yes, we might have disagreements, we might have tense exchanges, but ultimately we see each other as human beings that we can talk to in a way that doesn't feel um, aggressive or, or targeting or, or charged. I think it is it is a feeling that I, that I think both reporters here are feeling a bit of relief, frankly. Um, this is, again, a White, a White House that will be have to be held accountable. We're going to ask tough questions. I'm going to ask tough questions. But at least we're in a situation where they're saying we're going to level with you. We're not going to lie to you up front. We're not going to we're not going to make things up of whole cloth. And what Dr. Anthony Fauci said about being liberated and letting science talk in the middle of a pandemic, it to me sums up the situation that we were in before, which is that the science was not speaking, the facts and data were not speaking. This is the president again will have to be held accountable, but at least he's not making up truth and alternative facts. That is behind us, we feel. <laughs> Well, and in addition to that, yeah, absolutely. Fauci even said he didn't have, he doesn't have to stand there anymore, like looking, you know, like what? When they're saying, when somebody's saying injecting bleach, like, that doesn't happen anymore. But just to, so on the substance of, of this White House, now that they are getting in the swing of it, even daily press briefings, I mean, wow, you don't have to wait for leaks from angry, uh, you know, White House staffers. You can actually have a press briefing. Um, so there was a, a lot of focus today on the coronavirus and on the pandemic. Um, did you get a sense that within the White House, they were shocked, uh, and are they prepared to deal with just how bad things were? We've seen some reporting that it was much worse than they thought it was when they got to look in the books about how far behind we are in terms of rolling out vaccines and tackling the pandemic. Did you get a sense that their plan has to, had to change because of how bad things are? I get the sense that they knew things were bad, and when that they're still combing the data to see just how bad it is. When I was talking to a senior Biden official today tasked with the issue of, of coronavirus and working on the vaccine distribution, that person said we inherited a mess. It is not starting from scratch, but it's almost as bad as that. He said that the Trump administration, what they were doing with vaccines, was essentially dumping it into the state. That was the word that he used, dumping it into the state, and then saying, say, good luck with that, figure it out. There was no plan on how to get the shot into Americans' arms. So they're trying to get that together now. There's a big, of course, challenge with how quickly they're going to be able to do that. The big question I've been asking Biden officials is how how far away from me from are we from getting vaccines to anyone who wants one? And there really isn't a clear answer on that yet. And, and Dr. Fauci said we need 70 to 85 percent of people to have some sense of normalcy by the fall. So there's no real clear picture, of course, Biden saying that he wants to get 100 million vaccines into 100 million arms, rather. But. To me, it's, it's still a big question on whether or not they're going to be able to do that. There are, there are real big questions. Um, but they said to me, even today, even COVID testing is still not up to par. That's something that we kind of thought we were at least turning a corner on. And I talked to a number of people today who said there's the vaccine issues, but there's also the basics of, that, uh, of testing and having a real plan. This is the first time they feel like there's a federal plan for the coronavirus, which is pretty a remarkable thing that we are for in January. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.